I am just I click start recording mid sentence. All right, hello YouTube. We have a case opening of Temporal Forces. Woo! Look how excited! All right, listen. It is after midnight. We've been doing our pre-order breaks. We've been live on YouTube for several hours now. We tired. So don't expect... This might not even make it to a YouTube video. <laughs> it might not be a YouTube video. It's we have opened well over a thousand packs. We are coming up after, you know, almost 1,500, something like that. It's what we're trying lot. to say is, uh, if you wanted us to see us open Temporal Forces before, it's your fault for not joining us on Twitch. Bitch, yeah. <laughs> Which, by the way, we're giving away booster boxes. Of, uh, it's right there. What? It, right there. Bam. Bam. Uh, Come join us. Link down below. So, anyways, yeah, this is gonna be a uh, a chill, <laughs> two hundred and sixteen pack opening. Yeah. Let's let's. Put What's it crazy that way. is you used to do this every day. Every day. That was that was back when I was in my thirties. So I had that young, oh, spry that energy. You, you know. Good. All right. No. <laughs> no, I actually did. And honest to God, looking back now, I don't know how I opened Pokemon cards seven hours a day, seven days a week. I don't know how you did either. Literally, yeah. like I don't know how I did it. I mean, we were looking up like what. Because we were doing the the raffle math, and we're like things that are uneventful, and then there's Olympic medal. Odds of winning an Olympic medal. I'm like, if there wasn't, you know, an Olympic race for opening Pokemon cards, I think you're on there. Or maybe a lifetime Pokemon pack opening. You're you're on that one. I don't know how I don't have Carpal Tunnel. Also, I would turn chat on, but there's not much. Go you know what? I'll turn chat on anyways. Uh, you can see our dead chat after midnight when everyone's already pieced out and went to bed. All right, Kim. I 100% got your request, and I hey. will. About the new set, but I only want the secret rares and trade in the rest. Kim has definitely changed the poverty. Like, no poverty cards has turned into Wait, absolutely no poverty you cards. You only want secret rares. Or not secret rares. You know what I'm saying. Uh, wow. I only need want secret art rares. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Which, Kim, we might only get, like, two or three in this whole thing. Um. Well, it becomes my job to sell these tonight, tomorrow. Or I wake up tomorrow, I'll be like, all right, list Kim's cards on the internet so they sell. Very quickly for maximum yes, yes, value. Yes, yes, yes. It's a hot potato. I'm good at the hot potato. You've gotten one in the booster case? All right, we're going to get you two to three here. One. Wait, if you only get one... Kim's just doing this to make us work. So that Does that count? Yeah, I was going to say, Kim, does this are count? You, or is that, are you shipping that card? Is that getting traded in? Kim, I don't I don't know what, <laughs> what you're going to count, what you're not. So I'm just going to ask you time to time. Trade the gold. All right. She doesn't like gold. All right. So I 100% I get I, I understand the assignment. All right. Cool. <laughs> okay. For those of you that know what's happening right now is the uh, the absolute legend Kim here is uh, throwing away more money. We are opening packs for her and uh, giving her maybe two <laughs> cards from the case. I can add to the two cards that I have for her from the Paladin Fates <laughs> opening earlier this week. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> odd requests. There are no odd requests here. At least that's not one of the odd ones. Yeah, we don't kink shame around here. Yeah, we do not. Yeah, mm -mm, don't do that. All right. So okay. So uh, the bot. It's kind of working. So yeah, the more exclamation. More chatters. More chatters. Yeah. Well, the exclamation <laughs> point shows up, but what the? So only whatever the bot says doesn't show up. Is this the last order of the night? It is for me. I don't know about for him. I'm probably gonna carry on a little bit because here's the thing. If I get all the orders done, I might take tomorrow to. Uh, uh, to do all the things that happen behind the scenes. Maybe short stream. I don't know. Yeah, to me, it's after midnight. I got to go to bed. I'm sorry. I'm feeling the uh, the insanity start to set in. And I looked at the door. I'm like, do I DoorDash some food right now? But if I DoorDash food, I don't have time to eat it. So I just use power through at this point. Well, the problem is, is when you talk about that, earlier we are talking about McDonald's breakfast and... Man, I wish there was McDonald's breakfast going on right now. <laughs> I would destroy that. There was that one day I was talking about it, but it was like, ah, it's 4 a.m., so you can't get McDonald's breakfast yet. And I think you stayed up. Did you stay up to get McDonald's breakfast? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, because it's only like an hour away at that point. Yeah. I Yes. God, I love McDonald's breakfast. McDonald's coffee is so good. Not that I would have that now and then try to go to bed, but, you know. <laughs> so good. I would find my way to trap you in here for another break. I mean... You know, you you bring me one of those uh, not grand slam platters, but you know, you, you get me some of those uh, oh, hash yeah. browns, some of those like, oh yeah, you know what? Maybe I'm in for a bit. No, I just eat that and go to sleep on the floor. <laughs> That's uh, I'm still impressed with myself on some of these nights. I'm like, one of these days, I'm just going to fall asleep on stream, and that'll be it. I'll just I'll wake up and I'll be like, oh my god, who's still here? Let's go, lurkers. You know, there will be some people there. You just say hi. Yeah. A McDouble? No, no. Yes, actually, there's always room for McDouble. God, there's always room for McDouble. Scan my way home. I have the option of sheets, which is, you know, 
terrible but delicious food, and it's twenty four seven. I don't know. Seven. Their French fries are really good, and so is their barbecue sauce. Mm-hmm. They, it's, I don't know how, but their fries are good. And is it, what is it? They don't use Sweet Baby Ray's, do they? I don't know. Probably, probably Sweet Baby Ray's, but relabeled, you know, private. You know. Yeah, probably, because I'm like, it's about the same. It's so good. If you fall asleep, I'll stay in and ask if it's a replay every half hour. <laughs> <laughs> Deal. I would just wake up and be like, all right, let's see what orders are in the queue, and then <laughs> on yeah. we go. <laughs> like, oh, nothing? All right, I'm going to take a nap again. Dude, that's the way... Oh, my God. That's the way I want to try it one time. I know it would be super annoying, but, like, well, listen, when you run out of orders, it's okay. I got a pillow. I'm going to take a nap. Yeah. I'll wake up every now and then and see if there's an order. When somebody spends over, you know, 200 or $300, there's a buzzer that goes off. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, we got a big one. All right, up we go. It's like there's certain cam people that get alerted when action happens. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> you sure the ding or whatever? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> anything's for sale. The price is right. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yo, that W sauce from McDonald's is not garbage. That is delicious. Wait, what? Is they that? got a W sauce. It's like a teriyaki sauce or something like that. What would that be for? I don't know. Not they, your they, nuggets, right? Oh, for the nuggets for sure. They rebranded temporarily to some like anime thing. They're going for. <laughs> he would sell the shirt. Uh, that shirt, he likes that shirt, though. So that's one's fifty. That's fifty dollars. I wear this shirt all the time. You guys should know this. It's fifty dollars. I don't know stores. how I feel about teriyaki. Dude, I don't okay, remember it's not necessarily teriyaki. Nuggets though, dude, are perfect. Just barbecue sauce for a nugget or two. Honey for a nugget or two. I did honey. Yeah. yeah, I like ranch and then sweet and sour. Or a honey mustard. The sweet and sour is good. Don't get me wrong, but I just that's a good. That's that's on her yes list. That's one of them. Oh, it is on her yes list. <laughs> Kim, I actually got you a card that you probably don't want, but it's on the list. I don't know. It's just one of the few cards Wipe she does face. Yeah. I love that. Good for pointing that out. It just went right in the pile. <laughs> yeah, the Wifey's face shirt is awesome. Uh, Behaving Beardly still plays that every now and then. Because oh. he's got it where he's got Wifey's mouth oh, talking. Oh, I remember seeing that whole... Yeah, he's got like a montage uh. he plays sometimes during his stream. <laughs> this part of it. And I'm like, that's my wife's face. <laughs> It's so awesome. Oh, my gosh. We're, we're getting to the stream pretty late. Kim already owns every card in the set. <laughs> Thank you for your support. Wait a second, Kim. Kim, you... What, what are we... What are we doing here, then, Kim? It's called content. <laughs> I support you guys. Kim, we... We accept high fives and sometimes hugs as support too. You don't don't ask quite. Okay, you're right. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Kid. You, you're right. You don't have five dollars. Yep, that's yeah. how Beardly did it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Kim, I'm so sorry for ever doubting you. That was that was a misstep. That was a mistake. Sorry. So should I just throw these packs away because they have nothing in them you want? Allegedly, there could be a double box. Ah, uh, well, okay. it's not likely, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're just gonna get a secret out of a box. Like, all right, these are Kim recycled packs. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> just yoink. There they go. They have bulk. True, but it's <laughs> nice when it comes wrapped already. <laughs> People on stream would be like, hey, are these the Kim Recycled Packs? I'd be like, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's a joke, YouTube. No, that's, that's a joke. That's what we yeah. should do. No, we should I'm offer, sleeping. at the end of the year, we should offer Kim Recycled Packs. And just explain, <laughs> be like, no, we open the box, so we get <laughs> what Kim's looking for, and the rest gets put aside. Most likely junk. <laughs> we'll just do dollar Kim Packs. Yes. That would be amazing. <laughs> And then we get a secret artware, and we're like, "Ooh, that was a mistake. We have to keep that one." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if a secret, yeah, there's a, there's gonna be like a clause. If we get a secret rare, uh, no, 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 yeah. no, no. Oh my god! If that you bought a awesome. booster case, it would probably be open on our next stream. I think it could also be shipped to you sealed. Yeah, yeah. If you want a sealed case, screw it. Let's go. I am checking out after this. Um, <laughs> I am going to carry on a little bit, but I am in the checking out process. It has been a long. Not a long. It's been a, a lot of work. We've been working hard. On we still have all weekend. Yeah. So, yeah, we got this. <laughs> I have to ship all these orders tomorrow, too, so I don't want to be on until, like, 5. Y'all have a habit of doing that to me. But then you can get McDonald's breakfast and ship everything. <laughs> <laughs> 
McDonald's breakfast, go to bed, wake up at three, and then you know two or three, ship the orders, go to the seven p.m. post office, and then <laughs> see what we should do is we should probably do it properly. You should probably like stream until three, four in the morning. Because I'm getting up, I'm getting oh, my coffee, be getting up, yeah. I'm waking up, and then you just go get me McDonald's breakfast. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I'll eat it, and then I got to stream until you're yeah, awake. You stream it, yeah. <laughs> like, here you go. She was sleeping because I'll be awake at 7 for a funeral. What? What? That's, don't talk about depressing stuff like that. Now I'm sad. Now I'm leaving now. There's a chance we will stream nope. tomorrow, yes. I am not sure. Ah. I have not gotten that far, to be honest. Crimson Haze, 100%. Crimson Haze will be here on Tuesday, I estimate. I do estimate. As it is, what time in Japan right now? It is Friday, right? Yeah, I have to. It's Friday here, too, buddy. It is 1 o'clock in the morning. Or maybe it's Saturday. Is it Saturday? No, it's Friday. No, it's Thursday. All right. No, I can, I can do Japan time pretty quickly because. <laughs> you sure? I have to talk to all these people in Japan and, you know. Look, it's a good time. I have a great life. It's very fun. <laughs> 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 Cutie fly. That we one's just play so with Pokemon cool cards looking. and our trinkets. I love how this one looks. Technically, it's twelve forty-one a.m., not one a.m. Listen, Bun Bun. I don't even remember the conversation we're having right now. <laughs> What's going on? Did I say it's one a.m.? Twelve forty-one a.m. It's one a.m. All, All right. right, then we'll do a profit or loss after this, right? The older, or the older <laughs> it gets, yes, we're gonna profit or loss. Oh yeah, it's after midnight. We can profit or loss. You this. can't actually do that yet. It's release day. Wait, you'll be doing the profit or loss, and I'll be listing the cards over here simultaneously. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'll be like, oh, like yeah, Sean's over here. Yeah, that's four dollars. List it. Yeah. Look at this butt Pokemon. That's a very weird. I like it, but it's also pretty creepy card. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. It's cute. Mixed. A little bit mixed, but it's mixed. okay. <laughs> Did we only got Kim one card so far? There are a lot of boxes to go, I think. Kim, have I missed anything else here? <laughs> Kim, we should, we'll just load up another case after this. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, between all the trade-ins, you might just be able to get another Nope. Case. All right, great. Yeah. <laughs> if we get on one case, no. <laughs> you can get a... A case credit here. Wait, Patchy, that didn't show up. What Patchy said didn't show up over here, but it showed up over here. Oh, because there are emotes. I don't know. I'm not really Why sure are the emotes works. not showing up on the main That's chat? That's really weird. Isn't that? Man, our stream is always broken. So when are we going to unveil the uh, the Deerium's credit card? Oh, um. What interest rate would you do? Would you be friendly or not friendly? Would you? I guess you do like, what, two months, 0% APR, and then 30%. <laughs> 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 Uh, given the amount of potential delinquents, um, <laughs> ah, thirty percent, no zero percent APR, no. Going to be pretty high. <laughs> I'll yeah. put this straight in towards Crimson Haze. You are all a right. Legend. I got you. Oh my gosh. Um, maybe I'll explore to see how much all right, I, I tell can you what. get done tonight, and then tomorrow might be a process all the trade-ins, <laughs> then ship all the orders. Oh no. Here's what we can do. I can do a Darium's credit card that has a very low, like, interest rate. Like, a couple percentage points, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, in order to cover for all the loss and all the, you know, non-payments that's going to happen, the only other form of payment we accept other than Darium's credit card is Bitcoin. Oh, Bitcoin. Oh, Bitcoin. Very so, good. Yeah, you have, to, you have to pay your credit card in Bitcoin. Yeah the, yeah, the more Bitcoin we receive, the more I'm willing to have fraud risks because... Give me that Bitcoin. Yeah. <laughs> well, I would do, yeah, 5% rewards for store credit. I'd be, I would do that for sure. If I were, oh, my God. I thought about doing that, switching the reward system to where, based on your spend, you get cash back, based on how much you spend. That is probably us. a good idea to do. Because yeah. even when someone has, like, a dollar twelve, they feel compelled to spend it. Yes, yeah. And it's like, yeah, welcome bonus. Oh, man. Welcome bonus based on previous spend. <laughs> We could add, you know, free shipping perks, you know, when you hit X amount of dollars. When you hit five figures spent on the Dirium store. Yeah, we're just going to run like Stake.com does. Uh, you know, you got the level up. You start at like yes, yeah. silver, bronze, gold, platinum, double, jubilee, whatever. Is it scummy get more to rake back? model a reward system on your not casino, your Pokemon fun After a casino? After an actual casino reward? They're like, well, casinos <laughs> do this. Yeah. You know what? They spend a lot of money on research, so you know, they probably have the best. System. It's probably they've already figured it out, so why not copy it? 
Uh, you guys remember what this card does, right? It's Guzma. It's a boy Guzma, but if it's your $50 Guzma. <laughs> if anybody knows what Guzma does, comment below. I mean, it does this. Has <laughs> this thing dropped yet? This thing was $40 last night. Yes. I'll maybe I'll just stay up all night, and then I'll list all these online. And you'll be like, ooh, hot potato. Kim, is this still something you don't care about? Yes, yes. Don't top load it, because I have to end top load it later. Oh, I, I don't. <laughs> Bad. I'm just asking. I need to see what this. Oh, sounds like a luxury pyramid scheme. It is luxury here, yeah. Yes, yes as in what? Trade in. $29.99. Oh, it's falling. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's a couple people listing at $29.99. There's about to be some guy named Temporal Emporium with a bunch of these. <laughs> well, yeah, it's because <laughs> all of the, the non-verified stores or whatever can start listing, right? Yeah. 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 It went from 38 <laughs> <laughs> down to twenty nine ninety nine. Cards gonna be five dollars in, in a week, maybe ten. I don't think this. I don't think it holds over ten dollars though. It's a it's a radiant rare. These are all radiant rares. They're not. They shouldn't ever be worth this much. Yeah, there's. We've opened a good amount of them tonight. I don't know how many. On average, two in a box is what we've seen. So that's yeah, not of the prime catchers though, but no. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think someone said there's seven of them. So your odds of getting them are pretty high. So yeah, I don't know. What's our sign up bonus? So if you if you spend a you know, three thousand dollars, use a code. You, you co like, a code, use a code yeah. Mahone. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. How many people have five have it for nine ninety nine? Uh, I think. Hold on. We posted ours earlier at that price, and no one was close to it. There are well twenty nine ninety nine twenty nine ninety or seventy five. There's some dollar shipping. The card might be twenty dollars so, by the end of the day. There is one actual twenty nine ninety nine, and then there is one, two, three twenty nine ninety nines plus a dollar shipping, and a thirty dollar plus a dollar shipping. That, that's twenty nine ninety nine to me. That's five of them total. So one's at twenty nine ninety nine, and four of them are at thirty one after shipping. How many ball guys do you have? Way too many, but I need more. <laughs> I have a massive collection of ball guys. Yes, if you want to sort your bulk by color, not color, not card color, but uh, yellow border or silver border and ball guys to the side, that is all acceptable. Yes, yes, I will take that. Um, yeah, I grab those when I can see them. I still instinctively grab out all the Pikachus because I'm like, ooh, Pikachu check. The amount of people that sell, by the way, sell me your bulk, uh, <laughs> that sell me bulk and they have Pikachu tax in it. Some people will actually really? put, no joke, Pikachu tax? It's yeah. it's a lot more than you would think. They'd put like Pikachu's in their own thing and just write Pikachu tax on it. Oh, or that's very funny. Yeah. They'll just put Pikachu's like in a in a bag and just put it in there. It doesn't say anything, but I know it's, you Pikachu, know it's tax. Pikachu tax. Yeah. Yeah. So the amount of you legends who send in Balk and and, and tithe your Pikachu's to me <laughs> makes me giggle every time. I oh, love it. Let's get into this one. How many sets do you have a play set up? Do you still do that? I do not do that any longer. When it got to the point where the sets were just ginormous. And then you had so many cards that are bub like $100 a piece. I could not justify it. I couldn't justify every set. I had to own $1,200 in Charizard. set of, of everything? Yeah, That's it was pretty easy even crazy. back in the Sun and Moon era. Actually, it was because you would you, you'd just get yeah, yeah. Not that many cards. No, it, there wasn't that many. But then, like, again, the, you had Charizard, 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 Char two Charizards. And like, it's like the tag team sets would definitely crush you there with all the different alt art tag team things and yeah, all I'm, that nonsense. I stopped doing play sets uh, at that time because it was just ridic it, too ridiculous amount of money to do because they're cards that are just going to sit there. And I just wanted to collect a play set. And it's like I can't justify that amount of money every set. I just couldn't. But yeah, I need to ask Mikey if he has more water damage booster boxes because I think there's a demand for. I have breaks. one back there. Yeah, I don't want to get rid of that one. I like that one. You always have to have one on hand. There's that Unified Minds. Unified Minds box. Yeah, <laughs> I brought it on stream and I threw it on the table one time. And you can just hear it, <laughs> you can hear it squish. It squishes around. Yeah. I'm not gonna throw it. I'm gonna throw it. <laughs> uh, for Pokemon investing, do what you enjoy. Because soon the AI will be here to replace us and our trinkets will be stupid. Yes. Oh, no, the chat's blocking it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this beautiful box. It's a sealed Unified Minds box. Slight discount if anyone wants to buy it. 
It's a little bit waterlogged. It's absorbed a lot of water and uh, it's added some some size. Yes. You should weigh it. A normal box is two pounds. What does that probably weigh? Three. I don't pounds know. Let me that. see. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, okay. Are we still in the junk wax era? Yes, we are. <laughs> what he meant to say is the deals on the website are insane. Oh, was it later back then? Less carbs. I guess it was. Was it? That's weird. Yeah, remember the boxes are small. Oh, okay. So yeah. Less carbs. Huh. Uh, crap. I don't remember now. <laughs> yeah, well, one pound, 13 ounces is what it comes in at. Well, what is the temporal box? Hold on, let me see. Yeah, go wait. Temp that should be like 1.80 or one point. It should be almost two pounds, like right under one two pound pounds. Yeah, one pound fourteen ounces. Yeah, two ounces under, under. This weighs more. There is more cards though. Huh? And there's more holographic cards. There's more hollows as well. <laughs> Speaking of which, I better not get off too late because I got to ask you, how do I ship two ETVs in a booster box? Because I haven't done that in a while. Hey. Uh, you got a trick for that? You find a box on the shelf. All right, you just figure it out. That's, I kind of thought it was just to figure it out, but I was like, you what if you're just going to be like, you're like this, this, and I'll be like, perfect. No, when it gets to like things like that where you have like two or three of those orders an entire run, yeah. I just find a box that fits in and it goes out the door. <laughs> Fair enough. This is how it works. Yeah, open an Ultra Prism box. Exactly. Like, people forget, man. Back in the day, you were looking at maybe three hits a box. Two regular, one full art, and that was it. So That's you, what you're after. You open packs in, like, the, the like, plasma era. Yes. Like, so, That's I mean, like, the secret rare is, like, one in three boxes, right? To get, like, a gold secret rare, like a gold ultra ball or... Yeah. Oh, my God. No, like, when you were back then, because back then you had uncommons that were $20, $30. Yeah, like, right? uh, you know, what, dark, not dark catcher, but counter, or whatever the... The Man, catcher card was you. You you blended two of them together, because you were like dark. And I was like, wait, what? Like, dark patch. And I'm thinking dark patch, yep. and then which uh, died. Not counter catcher. I don't know. Um, there were, no, there was a lot because you're also talking about like everyone needed four trainers mails. You know? Oh yeah, like that was that was versus was, seekers. Yeah, versus seekers eight dollars forever. Yeah, there's all just the really good, really good cards. But so yeah, when you're opening it, y you'd get three hits per box. But you had all these amazing uncommons that made up for it. So, yeah, it worked. <laughs> well, I'm it's trump card. That's a mistake, yeah. Completely different era. Do you have any uh, sleeves next to Oh, yes, yeah. I need you? some. Just, oh, yeah, that'll get oh, you for uh, the entire rest of the stream. <laughs> but yeah, hits were... Uh, you you know, you felt something when you opened one. Yes, Let's put it yeah. that way. When it's like one in 12 packs. Yo! All right, that's a good one. That's a, uh, she already has that, though. She has all the <laughs> cards. <Jeez. Yeah. laughs> well, this one's in the yes pile. The Bianca's Devotion Secret Art Rare. Also, I remember, and I don't know why. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to der der derail this. But um, so Plasma Freeze, Plasma Storm, Plasma Blast. Yep. Right? Yeah. So Plasma Freeze and Plasma Blast had ETBs, but Plasma Storm didn't. I, there's a pl I think there's a Plasma Storm ETB. I'm pretty or, sure. Or is it... No, it might be Plasma Storm, but not the other... So, whatever. When Pokemon was doing ETBs every other set... Really? Yes. Oh. When they first started doing Elite Trainer Boxes, they wanted to do it every other set, and I don't know why. So, it's Plasma either is missing the Ultra Ball one, yeah. or it only has the Ultra Ball one. I think it's see, missing the that. Ultra Ball one. Every once in a while, I see somebody post it on the internet in a, in a group, and they're like, I want $4,000 for this. And I'm like... Yeah, good luck. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, flash no fire. Yeah, flash fire didn't have an ETB. Yeah, they were skipping sets that's with probably ETBs. For the best, to be honest, can you imagine if there's a flash fire? Flash ETB? fire ETB would be bonkers. Correct. That would be insane. But is it the plasma blast? Or I mean, plasma freeze that doesn't have an so ETB? Lugia, so it's probably Lugia had an ETB. storm because that's the ultra ball set. If they skipped it. Yeah. So it was. It's. It was weird times. Is what I'm saying. But it was good times. My God, was it good times? Yeah. Like. It was good. Uh, at least, yeah, especially for playing, too. Like, yeah, okay, you had X-Ball Mewtwo that just destroyed everything. That card was like $80 for just a regular Ultra Rare, right? <laughs> it was so good. But, like, you still had, like, homebrew decks that could just deal with it and have fun. That Okay, I guess what I'm trying to say is it Finger. felt like, to me at least, that, like, you had more deck options back then. 
things weren't as crazy and over the top as they are now. So like you could you could take a little <laughs> yeah. bit you could take some extra turns to set your side up to, to do it do what you wanted to now do. Now the game sense? you have three turns total. It just takes forty minutes to do three turns. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Plasma freeze didn't have one, yeah, so plasma freeze. storm and plasma blast did. Yeah, isn't that crazy? It's weird. It's, it's so weird that they would skip that, you know, in hindsight. I'm like thinking, I'm like, why would you skip an ETB? They wanted every other set. Yeah. And they just happened to skip all these really all good, the good sets. Ones, yeah, they were <laughs> on the wrong end of that track. Yeah, yeah. they were. I, I learned something new today. But I don't know why would, would they make a decision. And maybe the information's out there, and maybe I have it wrong for some reason. But it's like, why would they be like, we want every other set when they're doing sets yeah. in smaller block? I, I don't understand. It's weird, though, because they did XY Base, Furious Fist, and Phantom Forces all had ETBs. Yeah, <laughs> it's just weird. Man, I've been in this game for a while. Yeah, you have. Yeah, yeah. I've been on the magic side for. That's where I started in the magic side of things. And it's just funny uh, looking it used back. Used to be though. so much better. Now I won't even touch magic cards. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, now they make two ETBs for every set. <laughs> yep, most sets when you only get two. one ETB, it's I get horrible. confused. When I looked at the price on the, the distributor form for how much they are, I'm like, when did ETBs become this much? This used to be the clearance price. Now I just have to pay this? Like, yeah, I know. Well, now the ETBs are basically the booster bundles. Yeah, they're $50 MSRP. And I'm like, what are you doing Why? for yeah. nine packs? Like, Why? And you get a cool promo card, I guess. So I, I'm not selling. I'm sorry. We have ETBs available on the website. They're a very good deal. Uh, <laughs> we only make a few dollars on them because that's how good our deals are. Yep, very yeah, good. Uh -huh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. By turn three, the game is over. The tag team. Uh, horrible time for Pokemon. COVID saved the competitive scene for that, that period yeah. of time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't remember why they're so expensive besides cards being super player. Wait, what are we at? All of the... Uh, wait, what being super expensive? I'm sorry, my brain is melting a little bit. I'm bouncing around. Plus, I'm reminiscing about things from 15 years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Update his squatters. Two of the three people left. Last one will leave after he gets the deposit back. After Vigilance came to the house. Oh, my God. I want to be an anti-squatter like that one guy. I think it'd be fun. Like a lot of uncommon cards. That's what made your deck, man. That that was it. To me, I remember when like trainers mail versus seekers, like all of that stuff rotated out. And I remember thinking, like, what do we replace this with? <laughs> it like, wasn't good, yeah. Supporters? No. They, they just shouldn't have play like, hop but a draw three no yeah <laughs> yeah it was so weird i'm like no you trainers ma mail for what i want and then and then i put everything in 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 here and, and then i shuffle it all together and like that that's what i do <laughs> like this feels weird why are they so cheap now you're not as nowhere near as reliant on them nowhere near as reliant battle vip pass like, got to like two dollars maybe four dollars i don't know not very much yeah and like Obviously, look at all of this stuff. This is where the attention's pulled. You got to understand as well. You can't have the expected value of a booster box be too high. There's there's a cap on it. Like oh, Gearling and Prime Catcher, you. You can't have a hundred cards that are fifty dollars in a set no, without like, the box going. Like the Star you know. Wars Unlimited game right now, the bust value on a box is like almost one hundred and fifty dollars, and then the boxes Montreal. finally came up, you know, in price, but. You could just open Star Wars and limited boxes and sell the singles and do really well. Yeah, so there's going to be a balance, too, with how many hits you're getting compared to even playable on commons now. Again, we're looking at back in the day, this would have been considered a really, like... A good that's, box, yeah. <laughs> that's a good box. you got your two regulars, you got your full art, you're good. Like, you open a box like this with two full arts, this was considered an error box. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> This is a good box, too, if we have the Walking Wake Secret Art Rare. All right, Kim, we got you three in a case. Hold on, I got four packs left. Maybe there's more. Maybe there's more. That was crazy. I watched somebody open up a, what, a Dragon's Exalted box, maybe something like that, and it really was. It was four hits out of 36 packs, and it's like, Wild, isn't it? what do you mean? One full art? You know, the Secret Rares are, are really hard to get. Like They were Secret Rares. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I know I'm an old man yelling at a cloud about better days, but I'm just telling you, I personally had more fun playing the game back then because you had... Uh, there were certain eras, okay, where, like, water toolbox would just obliterate everything in the world, okay? Yep. So, so there were certain decks that 
you know, you run against Durant and Mill, and you're like, <laughs> you just want to punch your opponent. I was the guy making sure my opponents didn't have fun playing. Yes, okay, there's always decks like that. <laughs> but I felt, personally back then, you could look at your collection and go, that's a cool idea, let me build around it. You're not going to be winning all of the tournaments, I heard but about you're those more people. competitive. Yeah, the people that show up, like, you know, the national tournaments with, with well, they, we, they would call them binder drops. The competitive players would call them binder drops. They loved playing those people round one. They'd, yeah. be, like, they'd yeah. be like, well, round three or four, I'd be undefeated, and I'd play against a binder drop. And I'd be like, what? <laughs> Nowadays, yeah. even the worst opponents have the best decks. Yes, exactly. I say that in the nicest way. But <laughs> so to me, Whale Lord. Yeah, exactly. Put a Whale Lord up and just be like, what are you going to do? <laughs> That's nothing. I've made many people very angry. Doing yeah, that. nothing. Be like, move my Whale Lord. Go for it. All right. The Not Kim Poverty cards up here. Very good. And then everything else is trash. All right. <laughs> she has not want the rest. All right. But I, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. The nail in the coffin for Pokemon for me. Was getting rid of uh, PTC Geo. That was yeah. Uh, I felt so bad for that. That was just like, I can't do Pokemon Live. I can't do it. I just, I just can't. Not that I'm not saying I don't like the game anymore, but I'm saying like when it came to like the accessibilities and 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 the funness of it. The client sucks. I don't. I can't do it, yeah. man. I, I actually am excited about the new Tim. game coming out, the Pokemon Pocket or whatever. So they're making a new. You've seen it, right? Where you open packs now, and they have microtransactions Correct. on the app, and they have a dumbed down version of the game for people to play. A dumbed down version. It's a uh, it's like the start version. So they got rid of a lot of the comp like any. It's not a complex game to begin with, but they dumbed it down so it's very easy just to just to play. It's a lot less like interactions. I'm not or? sure yet. I'd have to play the Pokemon Start thing. That uh, literally, it's made for kids that are like three years old, and they're basing the rules of this mobile game on that. Hmm. Hmm. So, you know, that might bring some new people in, you know. Yeah, it has, what, three prizes. Uh, you have an energy deck. So you don't have to put energy in your deck. You, you have a separate energy deck. Oh, see, that, okay, that is what I've loved about things like Force of Will and the WoW TCG. They yes. solve the resource problem. You're like, hey, you don't have um, a quest, let's call it land, mana, energy, whatever you want to call it. Just take a card from your hand, play, play face yep, down. Yeah, it's, I, li I like that because you don't, you hate to lose a game because you didn't draw something you needed for four turns. And you're like, I would have won if at any of those four turns I didn't have bad luck. You know? Yeah, and it, when you're talking about it's an energy, like it's a card that does, it does a lot, but it does, it does nothing. You yes, know what I mean? Yeah. So losing by not being able to find it. Now, granted, in Pokemon though, so a lot of times you people they like to play risky where they're like, they're, I'm going to have a one up in this. I'm like, you, you know, you have six <laughs> prizes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you and they're know? like, no, I only prize at this percent of the games. And it's all fine. <laughs> yeah. They're like, or, you know, maybe I can swap and do, do this. It's board. like that. That's always been kind of funny to me, man. All right. Let's see what we got here in our case. Only, yeah, two prime catchers and then two, six, eight, ten, eleven. Once again, eleven ace packs out of a case. Almost so, two per box. Yeah. That's what we had in the last one, too. So that's kind of on thing. Uh, we got a whole bunch of these guys. Look at them all. Let me know your favorite. Mine's Chatot, maybe Litten sometimes. Everyone and, loves Litten. And the Metagross, and then I was counting, but then I lost count. And <laughs> One, two, three, yeah. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'm actually surprised at only sixteen of those. These are secret money. I think these are secretly good. And then also we did assemble. <gasps> oh, we got it. We got it for maybe the first time on the stream. We may not have been paying attention, oh, but hey, got both sides. We got the whole the whole deal. Yeah, I don't know how many. How many did we get again? Not many. Right. Like 16. I feel like that's not a lot for... Oh, no, less than three. We should get what? Less than eight, three. Less than three a box, yeah. Yeah. All right. And then... Hmm. Random full art card. We got Wugged. Hey, hey, Wugging. <laughs> Draft. Okay, I do want to get an actual count of and everything. Then. Just a count. Okay. Just count of how okay. many? How many total hits? Whatever will sell the most amount of booster packs. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, eight, to nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there's thirty-seven EXs. Uh, we had eleven here. Hold on. So yeah, thirty-seven plus eleven plus sixteen. Sixteen plus. We got five on the top row. Five plus. And you got to count. One, two, three. Well. 69. Nice. <laughs> 70. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 81, 82, 83. So we had 84 total hits. 
divided by six, 14, 14 for Bob. 14 on average? That's pretty good, yeah. 14. To me, I'm an old man. That it, is so many hits. That's 10 more than what you're used to. It is. I mean, 14. You know, they get 36. You know what I mean? Like, that's one out of every 2.57 packs as a hit. Really feels good nowadays. It does feel good. It does hit the dopamine. Yeah. It hurts the wallet when you realize a lot of these pretty things are not worth anything. Well, let's not but point it does that out. get the dopamine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's better for kids too. If a kid, you know, as a kid, I couldn't afford a lot of yes. packs. I couldn't buy a case like this. I'd get like three packs and then getting, you know, three holographics in a thing and then maybe like an ultra rare. I'd be like, yo, let's go. I'd be so happy for ten dollars, you know. No, granted, I completely understand that. So now if you buy three packs, you know, your odds are you're going to get one because usually it's the three for ten. So I understand when a lot of people are like, dude, why is it all about the money to you? Because MSRP is one hundred and sixty dollars a box. <laughs> yes. When you pay one hundred and sixty dollars for thirty six packs, it really hurts to instantly light a hundred dollar bill on fire. So. I understand this is much better when you get 14 hits if you buy a kid a box, but the price of boxes just keep going up. So you at least want you, you know, your kid's not going to look at it and go, oh, this is worth this and this is yeah. worth that. But you still want to make sure your kid gets the value for the dollar you Correct. spent. Yeah. So there's still that aspect, and that's how I see it, perhaps because I am a parent. So maybe that's why I look at it from that angle. And plus, we've done this long enough to know that we're really just doing a fun Ceno. It is a fun Ceno. I'm sorry, the yes, Pokey exactly. not Ceno. So, <laughs> yeah, it's nice to have the hits, but most of the X's are like a dollar. Yeah, 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 exactly. And so. we do buy them for 50 cents on the bulk buy list. For now, yeah, at least. <laughs> that's true. All right, well, Kim's getting three cards out of 216 packs. Woo! So Kim's hit ratio, <laughs> 216 <laughs> divided by it's three. Easy. It's a 50% One hit rate. in 72. Yeah. yeah, what am I doing? I knew that. <laughs> one in 72. So one in two boxes, Kim, was your hit ratio. You get a card worthy of Kim, yeah. <laughs> All right, YouTube, I'll probably release this so I can remember to get a thumbnail. This was, yeah, this was fun. We got, we got to look back in Pokemon history. There's things that I learned about it all. So this was a good time. You, you learned how old I am. That's all you learned. All right, YouTube, I will see you later. Just come by the stream sometime and at least make fun of us. Yes, it's a good time. All right, see you guys. All right, YouTube, um, I'll see you in three weeks when I release the next video. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>